Hello Avid Royal followers, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Beatrice was married to Eduardo Mopeli Mozzi in a private ceremony on July 17th. The princess was only allowed to have 30 guests in attendance at the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Windsor due to the UK's coronavirus restrictions. Meghan and the Duchess of Cambridge were not present at the wedding, but sent their well wishes to Beatrice regardless. Meghan sent her congratulations to Beatrice and Eduardo privately. A close source to her and Prince Harry revealed that the couple sent their well wishes separately as reported by Hello Magazine. No additional details were given on how the former Sussex Royals reached out to Beatrice. The couple have been quarantining in movie mogul Tyler Perry's mansion in Los Angeles after leaving the royal family on March 31st. Kate also sent her regards to Beatrice for her wedding day, but did so in a very different way. The Duchess of Cambridge opted to congratulate Beatrice more publicly. Kate and Prince William's Kensington Royal Instagram account shared a picture with well wishes to the newlyweds. The picture came with the caption that said, Congratulations to the HRH Princess Beatrice and Mr. Eduardo Mapilli Mazi, who were married in a small private ceremony at the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Windsor. Beatrice and Eduardo's wedding was postponed from May 29th due to COVID-19. Despite running in a smaller venue, the wedding dazzled fans of the royals, particularly because of Beatrice's dress. Beatrice's wedding dress was loaned to her by the Queen, who wore it in 1966 state opening. Fans also noticed that Beatrice walked down the aisle wearing the Queen's diamond studded tiara, which she wore on her own wedding day in 1947. The royal commentators labelled Beatrice as the unluckiest princess in the world following the delayed wedding. So Zoe Burrell suggested during the Royals podcast in March that Beatrice would have been devastated that her wedding was postponed. Royals host Angela Mollard added, She of course is 31, her fiancé is 36. He already had a child, a young boy. I can imagine that Beatrice will be wanting to have children and move quite quickly on with married life. She must feel so devastated that her plans are in disarray at this stage. Meghan and Harry, however, have been starting their new lives in the US, and Meghan being highly sought after for public appearances. According to Mark Barkowski, PR expert, Meghan may be able to charge up to six figures for speeches following her well-received Girl Up Leadership Summit speech. Mr. Barkowski has warned that interest in Meghan as a public figure may diminish over time. He added to the Scottish Sun, It's a noisy world. There is always the next big person to come out of the shadows. If you end up doing too many, if you are the gun to hire and turning up at the same places, your demands diminishes. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.